For thousands of years, humanity has looked up at the night sky, fascinated by the stars that glitter across the velvet darkness. Among them, Betelgeuse, one of the most iconic stars in the constellation Orion, has long captivated astronomers and stargazers alike. Towering hundreds of times larger than our sun and glowing with a distinct reddish hue, Betelgeuse isn't just massive, it's also mysterious. Recent events, however, have turned this celestial giant into the focus of urgent scientific study. A dramatic and sudden increase in its brightness, reportedly up to 250% more luminous than usual, has astronomers both excited and concerned. Why? Because Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, and this kind of behavior may be a sign of something immense. A supernova explosion that could, at any moment, shake the very fabric of the nearby cosmic neighborhood. Betelgeuse has always stood out in the winter night sky, easily visible to the naked eye and even more dazzling through telescopes. It sits about 640 light years from Earth, a relatively short distance in cosmic terms, and is classified as a red supergiant. That classification alone implies instability. Red supergiants are known for their dramatic final acts, burning through the last stages of nuclear fuel in a process that grows increasingly volatile. For Betelgeuse, the journey to this point has been millions of years in the making. Like all stars, it was born from a massive cloud of gas and dust. Over time, nuclear fusion in its core powered it through a stable life, but now it has entered its final phase, a phase marked by chaos, collapse, and ultimately, destruction. In late 2019 and early 2020, astronomers noticed something unusual. Betelgeuse was dimming. At first, it was subtle, then it became unmistakable. Its brightness dropped dramatically, and many believed this was a signal that the star was preparing to explode. However, the mystery deepened when Betelgeuse recovered, returning to something near its former glory. Scientists speculated that a massive ejection of material, essentially a stellar burp, may have temporarily shrouded the star, making it appear dimmer. That episode sparked worldwide interest in Betelgeuse's fate. Then, almost as unexpectedly, the star began to brighten again, and not just by a little. Its luminosity surged, outpacing anything recorded in recent decades. A 250% increase is no small matter, it's the kind of jump that demands attention. But what causes a star to fluctuate like this? In simple terms, it comes down to what's happening in the star's core. As a red supergiant exhausts its hydrogen and helium reserves, it begins fusing heavier elements like carbon, neon, oxygen, and eventually iron. Unlike other elements, iron does not release energy when fused, instead, it absorbs it. This spells disaster for the star. With no outward pressure to counter gravity, the core collapses in on itself within seconds, triggering a supernova explosion of unimaginable force. It's one of the most energetic events in the universe, capable of briefly outshining entire galaxies. The remaining core either becomes a neutron star or, in the case of the most massive stars, collapses into a black hole. The brightening of Betelgeuse has reopened the debate. Are we witnessing the final days of this stellar giant? If so, the implications are enormous. A supernova at the distance of Betelgeuse would not threaten life on Earth, but it would be an unparalleled scientific event. The explosion would be so bright it could be seen in the daytime sky for weeks or even months. For astronomers, it would be the opportunity of a lifetime, allowing them to observe and measure a supernova in real time using modern instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, and countless ground-based observatories around the world. Interestingly, the recent increase in brightness is not the only clue. Scientists have been tracking changes in Betelgeuse's shape, rotation, and atmospheric behavior. Its surface is irregular, with massive convection cells that churn and bubble, causing unpredictable fluctuations in light and temperature. Infrared observations suggest it may have recently ejected more material into space, possibly creating new dust clouds that temporarily altered its appearance. What's more, gravitational wave observatories and neutrino detectors are now on high alert. Should Betelgeuse explode, these facilities might be the first to register the event, well before light from the explosion reaches us. Despite all the evidence and speculation, 
there's no guarantee that Betelgeuse is about to go supernova. In astronomical terms, soon could mean tomorrow, or a hundred thousand years from now. Red supergiants can remain in this unstable phase for quite some time. But the unpredictability of Betelgeuse's behavior is exactly what makes it such a tantalizing mystery. No other nearby star has shown such extreme swings in brightness in such a short time span, and certainly not one that is already in its twilight years. Some researchers caution against jumping to conclusions, pointing out that Betelgeuse is a complex system that may defy our models. The current brightening could be part of a previously unknown cyclical pattern, or it may result from interactions between the star's magnetic field and its outer layers. Others suggest that a merger with a smaller companion star might be responsible for the sudden flare in brightness, a cosmic collision that would inject massive amounts of energy into the system. Adding even more complexity, the James Webb Space Telescope has begun collecting high-resolution data on Betelgeuse, offering new insights into the structure of its outer atmosphere. Preliminary findings indicate an unusual distribution of gases and plasma jets, suggesting that powerful internal forces are tearing through the star's envelope. This supports the idea that Betelgeuse is entering its final act, but still leaves room for multiple interpretations. These observations may also help refine our understanding of how massive stars die, filling in gaps that have persisted for decades in stellar evolution theory. If and when Betelgeuse does go supernova, it would be a celestial show unlike anything seen in recorded human history. The last nearby supernova visible to the naked eye was in 1604, known as Kepler's supernova, but it was over 20,000 light years away, vastly farther than Betelgeuse. A supernova just 640 light years away would shine as brightly as the full moon, casting shadows on Earth at night and serving as a beacon in the sky. Cultural and scientific responses would be equally profound. News headlines would blaze with the story, amateur astronomers would document every phase, and scientists would rapidly deploy instruments to collect as much data as possible. In classrooms, students would learn about the anatomy of a supernova as it unfolded in real time. Yet, despite all the anticipation, Betelgeuse remains shrouded in uncertainty. That is the nature of space, beautiful, mysterious, and unpredictable. For now, all we can do is observe, measure, and wait. We are witnessing the twilight of a star, and in doing so, perhaps catching a glimpse of our own distant future. After all, our sun too will one day exhaust its fuel, though it lacks the mass to go supernova. Still, Betelgeuse offers a preview of cosmic mortality, a reminder that even stars die, and in their deaths, they give birth to something new. The heavy elements that form planets, oceans, and life itself. In the end, Betelgeuse stands as both a scientific riddle and a poetic symbol. Its recent flare in brightness may not be a final flash before the end, but it has certainly reignited our curiosity. Whether tomorrow or millennia from now, the explosion of Betelgeuse will mark a turning point in our understanding of the cosmos. Until then, astronomers will keep their eyes locked on this aging giant, instruments ready, minds alert, for when the skies finally erupt with the dying light of a star that has watched over humanity for generations.